like a one four here. We are going to do a blue section and we're gonna do red, white, red, white, red. We're gonna smatter in, y'all know me and my flags, I like to make a messy, smattering in um, some other colors as we go. Uh, red into the white, white into the blue, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Charlene says, I have a question. Recently, all my canvases are not covering well. We have, you have white parts showing through. I'll tell you this, ever since COVID, I think they're using less, this one looks horrendous, and I can tell right now just from the texture of the canvas, it's gonna be a fight. So yes, I would either try to gesso or put a coat of, a, a, a fairly thick coat of white on or whatever if you're going to be painting your canvas blue just put a coat a base coat on before you get started because they are since covid seem to be more super textured and a little harder to get right or get completely covered so you might want to try that uh, because i found that to be the case as well so it's just that covid thing it's kind of like Ever since COVID, all the paints are watery. <laughs> so it's like they're just throwing water in the mix. So we have to buy more or just make, make it go further. I'm not sure what is going to happen. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is just kind of sketch out my lines. Now normally I, could, I would just draw them on, but for the sake of time and the fact, fact that I don't feel great anyway, we don't wanna make a mess. I'm just gonna go ahead and just sketch them on. So I'm gonna lay my graph paper down, or my carbon paper, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just gonna real quick just draw my lines. All right, it'll just be easier, and you will have this tracer available. If you are a member of the Shattered Circle, you will have access to this tracer Maybe tonight, depends on if my ride gets back in time. So I'm making, these lines I'm making are pretty squirrely. Uh, we can adjust them with, and I'm not gonna draw my star zone yet, because we, oh gosh, my finger, my finger stuck. Have you ever had that happen where you can't bend your finger? This finger kind of got stuck straight. That was kind of crazy. Oh, no, it's happening with all canvases. This is a blip canvas, and I can see right now it's going to be a bear because it is super, super textured. I'm going to wait and draw my star zone after we have painted. Okay, so for my blue, I like to use Deep Midnight, which is Americana. So this is called Deep Midnight Blue, but they also have Midnight Blue, which is a little a uh, brighter blue, so I may intermix these two on the blue part, just for fun. Yeah, that's my trigger finger for sure. <laughs> uh, no, don't worry about being a, oh. Michelle needs prayers. Her daughter had a double rainbow baby in March. She's had two miscarriages, and then our little Remington May 18th, Lost to Sids. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even. Woo, girl. I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. That breaks my heart. Cannot even imagine. Cannot even imagine. Ooh. Everybody keep Michelle's daughter in your prayers. So I'm going to put... I'm not trying to be callous. I'm just gonna keep moving because if I don't, I'll just start getting emotional. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of both of these blues on my palette, the dark, the deep midnight and the regular midnight. So one is super dark. And we're, we're just gonna go ahead and get white for our white stripes. And for red, we're going to use Primary Red by Americana. I'm gonna shake that real good because it's brand new, I just opened it. 
make sure it's shook. We're red. And I am going to use a little bit of this metallic gold, but I'm gonna wait to put it on my palette till we get everything else done because I don't want it to dry up. So we're gonna start with white and I'm gonna basically just real quick, real quick, and I am going to take my pencil because it's me and y'all know how I am. And I'm gonna go ahead and write an R on the red stripes so I don't get mixed up because that could happen so easily. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of prayers going on in here. All right, so I'm just gonna use this three quarter inch flat brush and I am gonna just get some white on these white stripes. We're gonna mess them up and blend them in with some other colors as we go. Some of the red, some of the blue, a little bit of gold. But for now, we're just gonna, oh my Lord. <laughs> Y'all, seriously, come on. <laughs> Oh, let's get that out of there. <laughs> okay, y'all remind me that I need to resin a brush. That's, <laughs> Lordy mercy. That's just typical, isn't it? <laughs> just typical. So let's just get some white on. And I definitely can tell, guys, that this canvas is not the best. They are just on the struggle bus with canvas lately. So we're gonna just get those two white stripes, just paint it in a little. <laughs> I do. <laughs> yes, it is mandatory for your brush to fall apart while you're using it. You know, it's my fault, guys, because I leave them sitting in water for days and days at a time, and it loosens the glue in your ferrule and that's my fault because I am a bad paintbrush mom and I should be better. And I've been gifted paintbrushes that are spectacular, like these ones here. I love them, but I know me and I'm too scared. Look, it's still got the case on it. I'm too scared to use it because I know how I am and it'll be ruined and then I'll be sad. Or these ones were gifted to me as well. I have used this maybe once. I can tell it's a little dirty, but I'm just, it's like I have new ones and I'm scared to use them because I don't want to mess them up. <laughs> That's just dumb, isn't it? That is just dumb. That's just my brain. My silly brain. I'm going to hit my edges on this white as well. I'm going to hit that edge. Now this is a skinny canvas because I didn't have a fat one, a one, a one and a half inch in this size. So I thought, what the heck, we'll go with it because I bought a ton of these flat ones for the hydrangea kit. We still have a bunch of them. So there is our, <laughs> there is our white. So now I'm gonna come in and go ahead and base in this red. I'm gonna make sure I don't have a ton of water. Hey, Debbie, thank you. I am so ready for my house to be pretty so I can show you guys and it's just not. It's just still a hot mess because I'm still kinda moving. Still in the moving process. I'm still living out of boxes. I am trying to remodel my closet. Uh, so it is the fancy closet I've always dreamed of. And I'm using Ikea cabinets to uh, customize my closet. So all my clothes are still in boxes and suitcases because I don't want to hang them up because if I hang them up in my closet, guess what will never happen? I will never do my closet makeover because I'll be too lazy. <laughs> I'll be like, well, my clothes are already in there now. So I refuse to put my clothes in the closet until it looks the way I want. Me and Ikea. 
are about to be best friends. All right, I'm gonna turn this this way a little so I can get that edge. You can see I wanna come over the edge on this canvas. So we're going to just hit that edge with the red. All right, that looks pretty good for the first red coat. Not bad at all, not bad at all. So we'll go to our next. Thank you for the sprinkles and thank you for the stars. I love Ikea too. Love it. So we're gonna get this red stripe. Have you guys been watching my reels? I've been doing Facebook reels and they, I've been having so much fun. They're like little 30 second clips and uh, would love it if you took a peek when I post one. <laughs> there, I'm trying to, for, to make them kind of fun, interesting. Some of them are silly, but I'm really having a good time with those little clips. My cat, I posted, I posted one of uh, my cats yesterday where I had to put my cat, one of my cats does not like the car. I'm doing that edge again on this end. Um, so so uh, I videoed my cat crying like a baby because we had to go on a ride and he literally cries like a baby. And he was crying so much that Biscuit, my old man cat, decided that Tucker needed a little butt whooping. So Tucker whooped him up. I mean, uh, Biscuit whooped up on him a little bit. And I caught it on video and posted it on my reels. And I just thought it was hilarious. Biscuit said, I've had enough of your mouth. Quiet. <laughs> Christine, I've posted on the Shattered Circle page probably five times. If you have a question about things that happen in the Shattered Circle inside that group, but I did answer your question in two different places just today. So go and check that out. All right, one more red. Right here. We'll get the side again. Yeah, the cats were hilarious. I love my cats and I always think they're funny. So, but I know not everybody does, but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, isn't it? My phone is plugged in, y'all. I promise. <laughs> it's plugged in and full charged. <laughs> Y'all know me too well. B Biscuit did go all smack down, didn't he? He was like, I've had enough of your mouth. You need to be quiet. You're doing all that crying in my ear. It was hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to turn this back around so I can get the other end. I'm going to put a little bit more red. Hey, Deborah. Was funny, wasn't it? And they never fuss. That's what's so funny is those two cats never fuss with each other. None of my cats fuss with each other, really. But um, Biscuit was just done. I can see where what we were talking about earlier, where the canvas it has so much texture that it doesn't want to cover well. And I can see that happening especially with the red, the high contrast of the red stripe and the white canvas. Right, I'm gonna come back. This one is dry, so I'm just gonna come back and hit some of those spots where I can see. Thank you for the stars, Laura, 
where I can see some of that uh, canvas white peeking through. Trying to annoy me. And then we'll get on the blue and then we'll start with some details. We'll get our detail work in. It's gonna be super simple though. Fun and simple. All right, I'm gonna rinse this. We're gonna do the blue corner. Thank you for the stars, Angela. I'm gonna grab that blue. So I have two blues. One is midnight blue and one is deep midnight blue. Hello, everybody. I'm gonna start with the deep and we're just gonna do this whole top corner. We'll get those edges while we're at it. He's wiggly. I'm gonna turn it on its side so I can get this correctly. Hey Dana, glad to see you here, honey. Sometimes life just gets in the way, doesn't it? I'm gonna get this edge as well while we're at it. Make sure we have a nice clean edge. And then maybe we, I think we can gift this piece to someone. So if you take the time out of your life to sprinkle this video to your friends and let them know we're here. I will draw a name from those sprinkles and we will gift this cute little flag to someone for sprinkling. So I'm gonna get right up next to my red line. So if you sprinkle, let me know, post on here that you did so. And we will go through and check all those names and we will draw a name and we will gift you this cute little flag. That means I have to do my very best to make it cute, right? All right, so I'm gonna go in with some dark midnight and some regular midnight just and we're going to put glass on the blue so we're not going to stress about the blue too much i'm going to rinse that thank you danielle hey debbie thanks for the sprinkles oh i'm sloshing I'm sloshing water everywhere. All right, so now I think I'm gonna take my brush. I'm gonna get some of that moisture out. Thank you for the stars. All right, so now what I think I'm gonna do is mess it up a little. We're gonna mess it up. We're gonna get a little messy. So I'm gonna take my red and I am going to just really quickly just run some red down this one stripe just to get the red wet. Then while the red is still damp, I'm gonna get a little bit of white just on the corner. See how I just got it on the corner? And we're just gonna run in, you know what I think we're gonna use is a palette knife. That's gonna be better. Let's do that. 
That's great. That way we don't, we're not smearing. So I'm gonna use a palette knife. This is just a cheap little um, palette knife from Hobby Lobby. They come in a set. You can get them, you know, for just a few dollars at Hobby Lobby. So I'm just gonna take that white on the back side of my palette knife and just kind of run it through that red, All right? Let me show you again. I'm going to get red on here first. Let me get more red. Thank you for the sprinkles. No such thing as light. So I'm gonna get some on the back of my knife and I'm gonna kind of dab some of it off. We'll run a little bit of that red through the blue that's kind of still wet. Look at there. I'm gonna use my brush to get red on first though. And then we'll hit it with a palette knife. Cause I do wanna work wet on wet. So we'll get that wet red, that red wet. <laughs> and while it's still Wet. I'm gonna get white on my palette knife. You could just some white on the back side, and we're gonna do it again. Just kind of run very lightly, tickle right over that red. And if you get too much white, don't stress it. Just come back into your red on the back of your palette knife and go back over the top of some of that to cover up some of that white. All right, so I got a little bit of white on my palette. I'm gonna come up here in my blue and hit that again too, just for interests. Now we're gonna put glass here, so don't stress about it. I just like to do this for anyone who doesn't wanna do glass. So I'm gonna get my last red stripe. Thank you for the stars and the sprinkles. I'm gonna get this last stripe painted out. I'm gonna get some white again. Just pat it onto your palette knife and I'm just gonna run it. I'm very lightly touching. I'm barely touching the surface of my canvas, I'm just kind of tickling on that color. All right, now we're gonna do some blue. I'm gonna take the brightest of the blues. I'm gonna get some on my palette knife. I'm gonna find a spot where I can pat it off. So I just have a tiny bit of blue on the back. And we're gonna do that again. I'm gonna come right over, tickle in a little bit of blue on my red. Let's do it one more time here. Don't go crazy now, but if you do find that it's a little crazy, just come back over with your original color, the red, and just kind of erase it. Now, I want to get a new brush to do the white again. Christine, you need to post that on the art, the Shattered Circle page. I've already answered that question several times. All right, so we're gonna get the white. Just getting it wet again. So we can add in I'm gonna take a little bit of red. I don't wanna to get too much and make it too spotty, but I'm gonna put a tiny bit of red. I got a little bit of white back on there too to kinda of help smear that. 
I don't want any one of the colors to be like perfect. Does that make sense? And we'll get a little bit of that blue too. And just a few spots. So if you feel like you've got too much of one color of the, of the or the other on one of your stripes, just go back in with your main color. Like this one is white and tickle on a little bit of that white. There, so we're gonna do white here as well. Oh guys, I'm having a hot flash. So over that stuff. Then, I think once we're done here, we're gonna blow dry this so we can paint some stars on and add some glass. All right, so let's do a little bit of red on the palette knife, just a little bit on the back and just kind of run it through. A little bit of white to help blend it in. Then we'll add a smidge of the blue. A little bit of blue. That is a little excessive, so I'm gonna wipe that off. And we're gonna come back with a little bit of white. And voila, okay, I'm gonna do one more thing. Digging the way this looks, I like the messy abstract look, but I do wanna add a little gold, so we're gonna use this uh, Dazzling Metallic Splendid Gold. I'm gonna put a little bit on my plate, not too much. And I've got a, one of those little paint stopper things on my, Paint. So I'm just gonna put my palette knife into that gold. I know this is a very messy plate, hard to see, but a little bit on the back. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of gold here and there on the stripes. So dab, 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 and just tickle very lightly, voila. So let's dry this and see what we need to do next. Love the looseness of it. I'm already having a hot flash, so this drying is gonna be fun. So let me. My phone's plugged up, so I gotta go across the room and plug up the dryer. So give me a sec. Ugh. And we're gonna get this dry so that we can move on. Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna use my um, heat gun to get this dry so that we can add a few more details, add some stars and some glass. Thank you, Brenda. Thanks, Tina. Thank you all who have shared and also for those of you who have sent stars, I appreciate that. I just love the messy quality of it. So it's not like perfect. So we're gonna add this blue glass to the blue area and probably a few little gold pieces as well. And probably a little bit of line work with our pen. 
I want to get this dress so we can paint on a few stars. Look at all them hearts. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Debbie, for the stars and the sprinkles. When you use a palette knife, it does apply the paint a little thicker. So it does take a few minutes longer to dry. I'm trying to smear it around so it moves faster. Me either, Laura. <laughs> Do you struggle with it, Anne? Do you struggle with being messy or being trying to be perfect? Because I had that struggle as well for a very long time. I wanted everything to be perfect. And I really had to make an effort to be, to be messy. So let's trace on a couple of stars. Hello. We're going to trace on. You can see I put a couple of stars on the tracer and this is warm. So I'm going to wait a second. Danielle says messy is her favorite. Mine too. It just gives you permission to uh, not be perfect. Yeah, I think we're gonna uh, do something more often with palette knives too. I'm gonna try to come up, Tina, with a little something uh, that'll help you with your palette knife work. <laughs> so, okay, so I am going to, I'm gonna get a tiny piece of tape so that this doesn't wiggle too much because I do want my stars in the right place. So I'm just gonna hit it right here, tape it down to the side, because I want the white star on the red, the red star on the white, and the blue one can cross over. But I don't want, I want them in the right place so the right colors are in the right place. And we'll find the stylus. My stars are messy too. Star one. Star two, star three. All right, so we'll take that off. Right. Oh, I got really quiet for a second too, so sorry. I was uh, looking at something. So I may have to do more than one coat of uh, white on this red. So I'm gonna do it first. It will be harder to cover up. So we're gonna do that white star first. Gotta hold my mouth right, so if I'm quiet, that's why. So there's our first star, definitely needs a second coat. And I don't know why that happened. So this is going to be our red star here. So I'm gonna go into my red on the other side. 
and we'll put the red And you can do as many stars on the flag as you want. You could just do them all over the place. Or you could do them in the blue. I am going to use glass in the blue, which is why I'm putting a couple of stars out here. All right, that's going to need a second coat too. Hey, Johnny, how are you? So over here, I'm going to do a blue one. And I'm gonna use the midnight blue, which is kind of brighter. And uh, you guys still make stars without picking up your brush, you know what I'm talking about? where you just go burr, 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 like we did when we were in elementary school. All right, so I'm gonna go back. And do whites. Dana. You could totally, whoops, I got white again. You could totally fold the stars. Uh, and if you met if you go make one of these and you do something completely different, don't forget to show us. We love seeing your version. We want you to always do you what you like and we love to see your version one more blue uh, I think Charlotte that they are still working on their house you know their house burned down and then they built a house or they bought a house and then it had to be completely remodeled there was something wrong with it so they've had the worst luck, but they do pop on occasionally. We miss them. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit this with my dryer again because I wanna add a little something to those to help them pop. I'm gonna hit that white one one more time though. Really, it's having a hard time covering up that red. All right, so let's hit those stars real quick. And hit that gold, that white again. The white one's on the struggle bus. fine brush if I can find one tiniest brush I can find which is going to be this almost like a little eyelash hair tiny little brush 
Oh, look at that. It also needs some uh, servicing when we're starting to resin. <laughs> and I'm gonna get a little gold on. And outline. And then we're gonna use our pen as well. So very loosely outline your stars. Kind of help them pop out a little. I'll hold these up close so you can kind of see. So there's kind of what that's gonna look like. So now I'm going to take my graphic pen, the infamous Hobby Lobby Master's Touch graphic pen, and I'm going to use it just to give it a little more detail. So what I'm going to do is hit my stripes first and short strokes. Oh, this pen is terrible. I got a new one. I need to throw this one away. That is not it. All right, starting again, 0 0.5. So we're gonna just draw dot, 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 some quick lines. Between our stripes, I'm gonna outline the stars. Put some dots there, short. Dot, dot. We'll outline that star. Outline that star. And lastly, kind of just add a little line to that. So that kind of helped pop that as well. That looks really good. So now we are gonna get ready for glass and resin. Okay, so I'm gonna add glass to the top corner and I'm trying to find some gold. I have some gold too that we're gonna add a few nuggets of in the top as well. So let's get this back on the line. And I'm not gonna use a ton of glass, and I'm certainly not gonna use these monster pieces that keep popping up in my glass. It's another COVID issue. Since COVID, my glass has gotten bigger and bigger. I think that's good though. Okay, so I'm literally just going to add a little bit of this blue. That was loud. A little bit of this blue to the corner. Not too much. And he is waving. Few more pieces up here at the top. Yeah, well, me too. We've <laughs> I've gotten bigger. The glass has gotten bigger. My booty's gotten bigger. My appetite's gotten bigger. Oh. Instead of the what, what they used to call it, the freshman 20. It's the COVID 40. <laughs> All right, so that was um, Pacific Blue. And we just used a handful of Pacific Blue on that top. Now I have a little bit of Gold Reflective. I'm just going to dump some of that into my hand. And I'm going to take a few of the pieces that are a little smaller and I'm going to add in a few of those. I'm going to make sure they're 
few of the little small ones. I don't want a big chunk. Let's see. A few gold nuggets. Oh, glass. Gold. A little bit of gold. A little bit of gold here and there. Get down there. A little bit of gold there. A little bit here. <laughs> I love the blue glass, too. Blue's my favorite. If y'all followed me at all for any length of time, you know I'm a blueaholic. I love the blues. All right, I think this is probably good. I don't want to overdo it. Let's do one more little piece there. So that is the gold reflective. Just a few little nuggets of that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put... My risers on underneath so the resin doesn't stick to my cardboard if we have a drippage all right and now we're ready to resin I'm going to make half an ounce because I think that's gonna be plenty so we'll do a quarter ounce hmm no I'm gonna make I still have to fix this cross so I think I'm gonna make Oh, I think a full ounce is too much. Mm, I need to think for a second. I don't sell gold nuggets. It is reflective gold. This is, it's just the regular reflective gold that I sell in my store. So, let me think. I don't know. La, 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 la quarter and a quarter. I'm going to do all right. Just make a decision, y'all. I'm going to mark my cup. Thank you, Catherine. I'm going to mark my cup just under the half ounce line, so it's going to take it down just a notch because I don't think I need a full ounce. I'm just gonna make half an ounce. We'll see what happens. If I'm bad, I'm bad. So that is a quarter ounce of resin and a quarter ounce of hardener. And that might get me in trouble, but we'll just have to see. Yeah, we gotta do the brushes. That one and the teeny tiny baby, this one. I'm gonna leave them right there so we don't forget. All right, I'm going to put my gloves on. Oh, my God. Uh, <clears throat> so, <laughs> resin, sorry, sidetracked, squirrel. So I, I'm using our resin. Uh, it's a two-part resin, hardener and resin. So we are going to put a quarter ounce of resin in one cup. Go slow, we wanna hit that line, but not go over. And I'm going to put a quarter ounce of hardener in this cup. And don't forget, if you sprinkle this workshop, this page, this live to your page or to your friends, your name will go in the hat and we're going to draw a name tomorrow. And we are going to gift this art piece to... The winner. What do you think about that? Where's my stir stick? Where's my stir thingy? Here it is. Okay, so I'm gonna pour the resin into the hardener or vice versa, whichever way you do it. Doesn't matter one way or the other. Let 
want to get all out. You don't want to miss any of the goodness. Super important to get a proper measurement. I know. I am brave pouring it over my art. I've made that mistake poorly before, but we're risking our lives here. So now I'm gonna stir this really nice and slow for three minutes. And while Catherine times me for my three minutes, thank you for the sprinkles. Make sure you do let me know if you did sprinkle so that I can add your name to the hat for the prize drawing. So now while I'm doing this for three minutes, if you have a question, I would love to answer any questions you have. Leslie, I get these little one ounce measuring cups from Amazon. I just bought a thousand and it was like $24. Uh, you just want to make sure it has the measuring, the little lines for measuring on the cups, okay? Uh, some of us talked about doing a piece to send to families in Texas. Would you have us with a pattern? Maybe a heart with angel wings or some fabulous idea you have. Uh, Carol, will you email me about that and we'll come up with something for sure. Email me, sweetie. Thank you for the stars. Thank you for the sprinkles. Leslie, that is like, it's like, um, somebody tell her because if I say it, the algorithm's gonna bite my tail and then this video will go nowhere. So somebody tell uh, how to sprinkle. Sprinkle Publix. Oh, look at all the sprinkles. What you do is let your friends know. If you think you have some friends on your home page, on your regular page, that might like to watch some of these workshops, some of these videos, uh, then uh, uh, sprinkling onto your page is how you do that. I signed my art on the side, Karen, with a silver Sharpie marker after the resin is dry. Christine, I've answered your question about the fruit 27 times, love bug. So if you'll go over to the shattered circle, you will find that your question has been answered many times. And I believe that Sherry has sent you an email with a Zoom link showing you how to do that as well. Okay, let me see. They are on the Art Shattered page, Becky. They're probably two years old. Um, and this is a question that needs to be talked about on the chat. Thank you, Catherine. On the Shattered Circle play page, pretty please. Not on the public page. The red I used was called Primary Red. So now I'm gonna start this by just drizzling resin on my glass so that we make sure that gets all covered really well, especially in case we run out of resin. <laughs> so the resin takes about eight hours to dry to the touch, but uh, you really should let it set for like 12 hours before you do anything else with it so it's nice and dry. And it does take uh, 72 hours to cure. So if you were gonna mail um, a piece of resin art to someone, you need to make sure it's dry for 72 hours before you wrap it up and ship it. And yes, you stir the resin three minutes. Christine, uh, you need to email me at cindy at artshattered.com when this live is done. Pretty please. I 
All right, so I think I have all my glass covered. So I'm gonna take the rest of this and drizzle it on the remaining parts of my canvas that do not have glass. I'm gonna get every bit of that that I can. And we'll get all that off the stick too because I think we're gonna be tight. So now I'm just gonna use my fingers to spread that along the rest of the canvas. Now it is cutting it close. So if you do this project at home, you might wanna mix a little more resin. I did a half ounce total, which was a quarter ounce of hardener and a quarter ounce of resin. So I am experiencing a little bit of skippy, which means there are some spots that are gonna like have dots of no resin. But because this is a very textured and abstract and messy kind of flag, I am going to go with that. And we're gonna pretend we did that on purpose. What do you think about that? Just make sure your glass is covered well so you don't have drop-offs. And whatever the rest happens, happens. So it is completely covered, but I can tell it's gonna be super thin in a few spots, but I don't mind that. And whoever wins this, I would love it if you took a picture of it and posted it on the page and let us know what you think about the resin and how it looks on the canvas. Okay, let's see. That would be awesome. You know what, we could do a piece that we wrote the Star Spangled Banner in the stripes. Oh, I forgot about the cross repair. I mean, I, yeah, I don't even know if I have enough. Hang on. All right, we're gonna go, I'm gonna try to scrape some out. The brush repair I meant. We'll stick that in. This one's gonna be a little more difficult, but we'll see what we can do. And hopefully this will hold. Ugh. Now, no more broken brushes. We'll let those dry overnight as well. So I'm gonna hold this up and let you look. Yeah, if you run out of resin on a project, just mix some more real quick. It's good for about 45 minutes, so as long as you don't go really slow, you should be fine. I've had to do it many, many times. So that is a super cute little project for Memorial Weekend. I'm gonna